These exhaust pipes got me thinking. So I cut a section out and drilled a bunch of 3 8 holes. Got this here diesel muffler. We're going to make an afterburner. And it should hopefully fit right here and blow out the back and power this whole unit possibly by the turbo. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing but I have a couple ideas and I've seen how a few other afterburners are set up and I think I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. And yes, the holes are technically swirl ported, if you will, by looking at them, so um, it might kind of create a, a swirl effect, but that's as clean as I'm going to get it. It'll be all right. So now, which way am I doing this? I think I'm going this way. Yep. And I'm gonna weld that in there like that. And then I gotta make my cones. Yep. It's all welded on there. It should be pretty uh, centered. It looks pretty damn good, and I did do some measurements, so, uh, V-band, 3 inch to 4 inch, so we can do this, like this, and then like that, so, gonna weld this all up right now. And here's what I'm going to do to make this level. So I'm going to take this uh, little turbo compressor back plate. I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to level this. Because these aren't really cut perfectly straight. And um, I want it to be sitting level. And I'm just going to level the top. The V-band is going to be level on the floor. So uh, there's that. Got it tack welded. Now let's see if my leveling system works. Ah, a little crooked, but what about from this side? I think that's probably the best I'm going to get with the crooked cuts, so. Oh, here we go. Not bad, at least part of it's level. So, anyway. I'm going to finish welding this piece up and then weld it to the case or the can and uh, continue on. Well, here's this piece. Freshly welded. Let's see? Yep, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's workable. Let's uh, fit it up on the turbo and see what it looks like. Well, that looks pretty cool. Got to clean the welds up a little bit. And I was thinking about taking this and piping it into that. Um, along with some fuel for a fucking big bada boom. It's pretty bad, but seems kind of straight. Um, had to put a couple little patches inside because the gaps were a little excessive but um letting the welder cool down because uh it's acting a little funky so that's that and finish welding it up and then slap it on that thing and it should look pretty pretty good oh that'll look cool and then the freaking big shroud over it hell yeah well, the welds are subpar, but a little uh, help with a flap disc, I think we can uh, solve that and make it nice and shiny and purdy. But it looks pretty good. I haven't welded it on yet, but uh, we're going to clean it up now. Seems pretty good. 
probably as best as I'm gonna get it with the crude shit I'm using. Well, welded on the plate. Made it out of scrap piece of the Corolla hood because recycle. Now I'm gonna zap the uh, the cone on and uh, probably put a couple supports just so if this thing gets uh, heat stressed it won't just like melt and warp and shit. So I think it'll look pretty cool. Decided to fit it up and uh, see what we're looking at. Looks pretty bitchin' to me. Um, even without the full shroud on. So, I don't feel like doing anything much more today. It's getting pretty wet out here um, and I gotta find some metal. Uh, so, I think that's it. But uh, there is tomorrow, so I suppose we will see you then. Well, using a measly piece of paper... I made these little dealies, and here's what I got. Not bad. Minimal measuring on this uh, cone, and it's pretty good fitting on there. It's kind of tedious to fit it because it's not like cleaned up, but that's pretty good. It's not fully centered up, but not bad. It's getting there. So, um, time to weld the cone up and then clean it up and weld it to the whole deal. Well, there's the finished product. Let's see, it's pretty damn nice. It's pretty good for, uh, some slack jaw like me. Well, unfortunately, it's a little too wet to go out and look for some wood to fire this thing up and test it out. So um, unfortunately, uh, that's not gonna happen today. And I don't have an ignition source other than the wood to ignite the oil. So um, yeah, there's no spark plugs or any type of coil system in this. It's literally just the heat this produces and the leftover coals. But yeah, I suppose I'm gonna include the, uh, the first attempt on oil that was probably two, three days ago I tried it. Um, I think it was pretty successful just being out of the, uh, like right out the gate, setting this thing up. So this is pretty much the fuel system I have. It's a 60 pound fuel pump going to a fuel injection uh, return style regulator to a nitrous solenoid. Then it goes up the hose here to a nitrous jet kit. And I have the smallest orifice, point. Uh, 5.7 um, then it goes into this uh, really long injector I made that has a, a dual spray on the end it kind of just my own nozzle design um, pretty much I just smashed it with a hammer until it sprayed the way I wanted it to so um, we're gonna include that run and uh, yeah but uh, as always do your thing and um, I'll see you on the next one
All right, that was a little hot. But it fucking ran on oil. Hell yes. It will backfire pretty good though.